Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the free report for Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. Free pick coming up in college baskets. First, a real quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. All right, uh, big play for me on a Wednesday. The star of the show, so to speak, in the NBA, six-star play, just my second one of this NBA season. It goes on Wednesday night and it will be available on my handicappers homepage at DocSports.com. On a nice run in the NBA, short-term run, 2-0 this week. In fact, won again last night with the Philadelphia 76ers, a 119-111 win. And I will look to continue it again with a six-star play on a Wednesday's card. By the way, the six-star play is backed by a 37-13 against the spread spot, which I explain in the write-up, and then you'll be able to use that situation moving forward. Uh, that's the star of the show for me on Wednesday. I do have college basketball, four-star play, like it quite a bit. One and one this week in college baskets. We won with Kansas on Monday, but I lost last night with Alabama. They won the game outright, but they came up three points short of the spread. No NHL for me on Wednesday. Only two games. We'll wait for Thursday's card. Didn't like the two games on Wednesday. We are kicking things off, though, on Wednesday during the day with uh, FA Cup action from England, and we are 5-1 and one in February. Soccer up $1,800 for $100 per unit better. So if you like the pitch, if you like what's going on on the pitch in soccer, then obviously uh, you'll want to jump on board this as we look to go to 6-1. and one. And again, the star of the show, that six-star play in the NBA. Let's look at college basketball, 9 p.m. Eastern time tip. It's Missouri and Ole Miss. Uh, right now, Missouri getting a point and a half in just about every book as I cut this video. I make Missouri a couple of points favored in this one. Both teams off, are off nice runs, uh, nice wins, I should say. But some of the Rebels' metrics leave me cause for concern in this particular matchup against Mizzou. Uh, Missouri's strong on the defensive end when it comes to defending the two-point shot. But Ole Miss is nothing special shooting the two. And the problem is, if you want to beat Missouri, you give yourself a better chance if you can nail the three. The problem with the Rebels, they're 336th in the nation in three-point accuracy. So the bottom line is, is that, I mean, they're hitting 28% of their threes on the year. The bottom line is, is that you should be able to shoot from deep perimeter if you want to try to beat Mizzou or give you your best chance to do so. And if you're unable to do that, then Missouri is able to play to their strength, which is two-point defense. So I don't think the Rebels are strong enough uh, offensively for this matchup, while the Tigers are in the top 40 in offensive and defensive adjusted efficiency. And they come into this game with a 13-3 and record. Uh, Ole Miss has covered just three of the last 12 against teams that play better than 600 basketball. I just told you Mizzou's record 13 and 3 for a reason. Ole Miss struggling against the top te uh, teams on their schedule in those 12 games. I'm going to recommend a play on Missouri. A free play on Mizzou on a Wednesday. Again, getting a point and a half as I cut this video, the Missouri Tigers. All right, again, don't forget, star of the show for me on a Wednesday is the six star play in the NBA. We'll look to go to 3 0 on the week in pro baskets. And don't forget, it all starts with soccer action. We look to go to 6 and 1 in the month of February. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.